Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a battle against Connor. This is another opponent that I got off the online gaming chat Discord. And as you can see, he has a pretty strong looking team there. So it should be another good match and we're going to get into it. So looking at his team, I really wasn't sure what he was going to want to lead with as he actually decides to lead with the Alolan Muck. So I decide to lead with my Politoed, uh, just so I can get the rain up turn one. So of course my Drizzle is going to activate to make it rain on the battlefield. And here I just decide to go straight for a switch, kind of predicting the knockoff on his side. I don't want to take that uh, with Politoed, so I am going to come in with my Buzzwall. As he does go for the knockoff, I am max physical defense and carrying a Z-Crystal, so that's not going to do much of anything at all to me. So then he is going to go for a switch, knows there's not much he can do to me with the Muck, so he is going to come in with the Gastrodon as I do go for a Drain Punch. So that is going to take him down by about half. I actually did get a crit there. Um, so that is also going to put me back up to full health. And then he is going to regain some health with the leftovers. So here I'm going to go for a switch. I don't want to take a special attack from this thing. So I'm going to come in with my Drampa. But he actually predicts the switch and goes for a recover instead. So that is going to put him all the way back up to full health, unfortunately. So, uh, this turn he is going to go for a Toxic, and he is going to land that to badly poison me, which is uh, unfortunate. That is going to be whittling me down, as I just decide to go straight for a Draco Meteor. I am max special attack. So, um, that is going to take him all the way down to about a quarter health, but he does survive, and it is going to harshly lower my special attack stat. He is going to regain more health from the leftovers, and I am going to take some damage from the poison. So, uh, here I decide to switch out. I really have no choice with my uh, special attack lowered, so I'm going to come in with my Tornadus as he predicts the switch yet again and goes for another recover. So, that is going to put him back up to almost full, unfortunately. Uh, that is going to be it for the rain, and he is going to regain even more health with the leftovers. So... He is going to go for a switch here, uh, doesn't want to take an attack from me, I guess, so he is going to come in with the Azumarill, not sure what he was predicting, but I do actually carry Grass Knot on here, so I'm just going to go for that, which is going to take him down to about a third, and uh, I am going to take some damage from the Life Orb. So he is actually going to double switch this turn, probably predicting another Grass Knot. He is going to come in with Muck. Um, and I did go for it, hoping he would stay in, uh, so not going to do much of anything there. Uh, to the muck, and I am going to take more damage from the life orb. So, here I am going to go for a switch, but he actually predicts that and goes for a pursuit, which is actually going to take me down um, to about a quarter of my health. Um, but the only good thing about that is I'm guaranteed a safe switch now, so I am going to switch directly in with my Buzzwall yet again, which is going to force him to switch out. So, uh, he is going to come in with his Pidgeot, as I just decided to go for a Leech Life, predicting a switch, but not into the Pidgeot. So, um, that's only going to take him down by about a quarter. So, um... Here I am going to go for the switch. I don't want to take a flying attack from this thing, so I'm going to come in uh, with Politoed yet again and get the Drizzle to make it rain on the battlefield. So, of course, he is going to go for the Mega Evolution into Mega Pidgeot. And he actually decides to go for the Heat Wave here, which was uh, actually really good for me. It is weakened because of the rain, and I am uh, max special defense with an Assault Vest, so that did virtually nothing. This turn, he is going to go for a U-turn just to get a little more chip damage, and of course the mandatory switch. So uh, he is going to come back in with the Gastrodon off that, probably hoping to catch a water attack. Um, but I decided to go for the Ice Beam instead, which is not going to do too much, unfortunately and he is going to regain more health with the leftovers. So here I have to switch out again. Uh, nothing I can really do to this thing um, with the Politoed, so I am going to come back in with my Tornadus as he does go for a Toxic, and he is going to land that once again to badly poison me. 
So he is going to be regaining even more health from the leftovers, and I am going to take some damage from the poison. So, uh, this turn I decided to just stay in. I went for the hurricane just in case he would switch. Uh, it is guaranteed to hit because of the rain. Unfortunately, he does survive that uh, in the red, which is going to allow him to go for a skull that is boosted by the rain. So that is going to finish off my Tornadus and drop me down to five Pokemon as he does regain more health with the leftovers. So... Then I'm going to come in with my Arcanine, and I am going to get the Intimidate to lower his attack. Not really going to matter, because he is special. And I am just going to go straight for a close combat here, in case he decided to switch. Um, so that is going to cut both my defense stats, but that is going to be more than enough to get rid of the Gastrodon, finally, and to drop him down to five Pokemon. And that is going to be it for the rain. So here he is going to come in with Azumarill, and here I decided to make a risky play, and I stayed in and went for the close combat. I am choice banded, max attack, so I figured that should have been enough to take out the Azumarill. Unfortunately for me, it looks like I got a low roll there, because he does survive that with like 2 HP. Um, he goes for the play rough, and because my defense stats were dropped twice, that is actually going to be enough to take my Arcanine out and drop me down to 4 Pokemon. So very unfortunate turn of events for me there. Uh, I kind of have to turn this around here, so I am going to come back in with my Politoed and get the Drizzle to make it rain once again. And he is going to go for a switch here to save his Azumarill. He is going to come in with the Alolan Persian as I decide to go for a Scald, which is going to take him down to about a quarter health, but he does survive, unfortunately. So uh, this turn he does outspeed me, and he is actually going to bust out the Z-move here um, on the Persian, which is actually going to be the dark Z-move, and um, to my surprise it actually turns out to be Z-parting shot. So what this is going to do is uh, lower both my attack and special attack stats, uh, give him the mandatory switch as uh, parting shot normally would, but then he is going to switch in with the Azumarill, and uh, it is actually going to put this thing all the way back up to full health, which was uh, very unfortunate for me. So I just decided to go for the Scald this turn, um, so that isn't going to do too much of anything to the Azumarill with my attack lowered. So, um, I just decided to stay in here. I really didn't have a safe switch for this thing at this point, so I just kind of let him take me out there with the play rough. That is going to drop me down to three Pokemon. So, then I am going to come back in with Buzzwall, and he is going to go for the switch here, um, directly back into his Persian, basically as fodder. Uh, unfortunately, I was hoping he would stay in and attack me, so I decided to bust out my Z move here. Uh, which is going to be the Rock Z move, which is, of course, the Continental Crush. So, this is coming off of Stone Edge, so it would do uh, massive damage to anything he decided to leave in. So, um, obviously, that is going to be more than enough to finish off the Persian, dropping him down to four Pokemon, and uh, also activating my Beast Boost to increase my attack. So then he is going to come back in with the Pidgeot, and that is going to force me to switch yet again. I don't want to get taken out with a flying attack, so I'm going to come in with my Excadrill, and my Mold Breaker is going to come into play. He does go for the Hurricane here, and that is going to take me down by about a third, which was not too bad. That is going to be it for the rain, and uh, I'm going to regain some health with the Leftovers. So unfortunately, uh, because the rain is over, he is uh, free to go for the heat wave here. Uh, its power is not decreased, because uh, again, the rain is over. So that is unfortunately going to be enough to take out my Excadrill there and drop me down to two Pokemon. So then I am going to come back in with my Drampa. And uh, again, he is going to go for the switch here. Um, probably knows he's not going to one-shot kill me, so he is going to come in with the Muck yet again. I did go for the Thunder, hoping he would stay in there. So that is uh, not going to do a whole lot to the Muck, uh, and then I am going to take some more damage from the Poison. So, this turn he is going to outspeed me. He is going to go for an Ice Punch here, which is going to knock me down uh, to about a third of my health, and also activate my Berserk to give me a special attack increase, and uh, activate my Citrus Berry to put me back up a little over half health. So I just decided to go for the Draco Meteor here to get as much damage as possible. I figure with the uh, special attack increase it should be enough to 
uh, take this muck out. Unfortunately, it is not. Again, he does survive in the red. Um, it is going to harshly lower my special attack as I do take more damage from the poison. Not really going to matter since he is just going to outspeed me again and go for a poison jab. And that is going to finish off my Drampa, dropping me down to just one Pokemon. So finally, I am going to come back in with Buzzwall. And I am going to outspeed this thing. I am just going to go for a Drain Punch, which is going to be uh, more than enough to finish the muck off, obviously, and drop him down to three Pokemon. Also, uh, activating my Beast Boost to give me an attack increase. Not really going to matter, though, since he is just going to switch in with Pidgeot. And he is going to outspeed me and just go straight for the Hurricane. And, of course, that is going to be enough to uh, one-shot kill my Buzzwall. And that is game. So, I lost that one. A 3-0 against Connor, but that was a very competitive match. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. Also, this is going to be the last battle that I post with this team. Uh, I did have a lot of fun using it, and I felt it did do uh, very well, but uh, as is the case, um, to keep things interesting on the channel, I am going to be putting this team to the side for now. And uh, starting next time, I actually decided that it is time to get back into multi-battling. So um, I'm going to be rolling out a few multi-battles for you guys, uh, remixing my uh, previous teams here on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, and um, putting some of those up for you guys. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you next time.